another example of it, the horizontal and the vertical ones. Now let's take a look at the relative layout. So a relative layout is a view group that displays child views in a relative position. So uh, the limitation that a linear layout had was either you can you can place your views horizontally or you can align the, align them vertically, but you cannot align one view with respect to the other view. Suppose I have a view which I want to be placed say after view one. I, I'll just take an example here. I use my drawing tool here. I think the drawing tool does not seem to be working here. Okay. So suppose I have a view here. Suppose if I say I have a view one I, and I need a, to draw a view just beneath that view. So in that particular case, I'll be using a relative layout. Let me just show you an example of it. As you can see on your screens here, what I have done is I have placed these hello world text views in different positions, which is relative to each other, as you can see here. I'll just take you through an example of a relative layout, wherein I'll be creating an activity, which will be having, uh, I'll just take a, I'll just use the same sample that I am just using which will be placing a say edit text or say text view uh, which is I'll just show you after creating it here so instead of the linear layout now what I'll be using is I'll be using a relative layout I don't need an orientation for a relative layout so I'll just delete this context here I'll close the relative layout so this is what my text views looks like just format it up a little so this is my relative layout as you can see here all the views are coming one on top of another because it does not align the views as you can see just let me take a look here as you can see all the views are one on top of another because this is not a linear layout wherein I can identify that I want to have a portrait say I want to have a vertical orientation or I want to have a horizontal orientation which is not the case so it is placing all the views one on top of another so that is why the hodgepodge is looking up on the screen now let's go since I have already placed this text view here I'll just mark this as wrap content I'll mark all of these as wrap contents so the uh, wrap what I mean by wrap content here is if I have a text which is say very long or I have a text which is say very short so in this particular case what happens is in this particular case what happens is uh, I don't need to know the size of the content that I'm placing on the text view so if even if my text is large I need to just wrap it up even if it is not I'm, I need to just wrap it up so it automatically takes up the space that is needed by it so that is the use of using wrap content property when it when we talk about the various views in Android. Now let's quickly, what I can do is I can align a text text view on top of the parent. So I'll say align. Here you can see the various attributes that I can utilize. So I'll just align it to parent top and I'll say it as true. So and once I do that, I'll just remove these all for, for the time being because it is going to create a little confusion. So let's just remove these. All right. Now, as you can see on the graphical representation, this is going on top of the activity or say the parent. And my parent to this particular view is the relative layout. So it is on top of the relative layout. I'll just paste the back the code that I had just commented out. I had just taken off. So if I want this text view, the second text view, to be aligned just below this, so what I can do is I can say below, I can say layout below. Here I need I have I need to have an ID associated with it. So I'll just associate an ID here with as I told you it's at the rate plus ID slash name of the text view. So I'll say text one. And I can use this ID here and I can assign this text view below this ID. 
So once I'm done with it, I'll just show you the code here and I go to the rep representation. As you can see here, this is just aligning below this. So if I just do one more thing here, instead of aligning it below the text box, what I can also do is I can align it at the bottom of the parent. Here this is the attribute which says layout align parent bottom and if I set this to true, I'll just go to the particular representation. Here this is the first text view and I'll just scroll down and here you can see the last one, the second text view that I have just created. So if I, I have used both the properties, I have used the align parent top and then I have used the align parent bottom here. But also I had showed you how I can use it to align it one after the another. So I also showed you that example here. So I'll take another look. So if I say, uh, if I say I want a text view, which is my text view three, I want it to be above this text view. All right. So I'll just ID, the, give it an ID here. I'll say, text view 2 and I say text 2 here I have given it an ID and now what I can do is I can align this one which is uh, the, at the bottom I have placed this one at the bottom so I can use this text view to just place above this text view I'll just show it to you how I can do that I can use the property layout above here and I can just place this at above this layout. I'll just use this ID here and copy, just paste it here. So what I have done is I have created a text view which is on top of the layout. I have taken another text view which is at the bottom of the layout and then I have done a created a text view which is on top of the one that is at the bottom. All right. And I say I don't want to name it as hello world. What I can do is I can say uh, relative layout. All right. I just did a typo here. Okay. So I have given it a relative layout text here. As you can see, one is on the top, the other one at the bottom, and then we have the relative layout. So what uh, usually uh, the problem that we do here is suppose I'm having to align something on top of another all right then in that case I have to declare it before this if I'm doing it after this then I, I don't have the context of the layout again so I'll just show that to you here what I have done is I have given it an ID above something all right if I go to the graphical representation it again shows like this so this is how it's got uh, it's done in Android. So if I am doing something which is relative to one another, I can just definitely take a look at this. I hope this is clear to everyone. The relative layout, how we use the relative layout in Android. I hope this is clear to everyone. You can write on the chat window if this is clear to everyone. I mean today what we'll be doing in this session is we'll have two topics that we'll be covering today. One is the layouts and the another one is the widgets. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking a 10 minutes break or say it is going to be a break from all of you wherein you'll be asking your questions and queries which respect, with respect to one component that we have just covered. So if I talk about say when I'll be finishing off with the layouts, we'll be having a 10 minute session wherein we'll, I can allow you to ask questions, I can allow you to speak. And then after we'll be continuing with the same session and we'll be covering the various widgets and at the end of the widget section we'll also have this 10 minutes session. So I hope this um, will be giving you enough time. If you cannot ask anything in the uh, during this session you can just note it down, pin it down somewhere and then we can discuss it in the break that we have for us. I hope this uh, is good for all of you. It's, this looks good to everyone the relative layout, the linear layout that I have talked about. You can just write on the chat window so that I can move further with the course. So I think most of the people are good with the, the relative layouts and the linear layouts concepts here. 
now let's quickly move to the next layout here. 